Right, now we've got the render on the wall. We now use a PVC float. Make sure it's a PVC float, not a polyurethane float. So don't use a yellow uh, concreting float. It's got to be a white plastic PVC float like that. Uh, and then what we do then is simply, well, clean it first uh, and then actually rub it over the surface. The other thing to do is as you're rubbing it probably every 15 to 20 seconds is take the trowel off and actually scrape the render off that builds up on the trowel and that will give you a much better finish. So. Ideally, one person puts the render on and then one person finishes it because each different person has their own uh, pattern that will form on the wall and so it's important that you get a, a uniform pattern so don't try not to switch people rubbing it up. So you can see that we're rubbing it up like that and that's basically all you do. Um, you'll see that the trowel is actually pushing off the excess material around the edges uh, and then we just simply scrape it down, keep it as clean as we can and then gently go over it, gently go over it again and then work your way along. As I said with corners, if you work towards the corner and sort of down and around, then you will actually get the, the grit going right up to the corner. So if that was the corner of a, a window reveal, you keep sort of working towards that corner and make sure you get grit right to the edge. If you work in the opposite direction and actually pulling the grit away, you'll find that you basically have a bare corner, which is obviously not what you're aiming for. You'll notice that the texture begins to change and actually begins to drag a bit after a while because the, uh, because the render actually builds up on the, on the trowel. So again, if you want to keep it, you want to keep cleaning it regularly and then go back over areas that you've just rubbed up. The other thing to listen out for actually is the, is the sound that it makes. You'll find that when you've got thick areas, uh, you won't hear the rumble of the grit moving around underneath the trowel. So again, use your ears whilst you're doing it as well to, to give you the best results. So again, it's beginning to drag. Scrape it down. Scrape all that material. <coughs> excuse me. Scrape all that material back into the bucket. I tend to work from the top down with uh, with the rubbing up, simply because the the extra bits tend to fall down, obviously. Uh, and so, if you work from the top down, then you're uh, touching up any any bits, any extra bits that stick to the wall below. So the person who comes along and does this really wants to be bringing the, the tub of render or a tub of render with them so they can scrape off uh, the excess off the trowel into that bucket and also any, anything that drops on the floor. The good thing about the Udi Pearl render is that even with very, very strong colours, very dark colours, it's very easy to blend it in if, if there's a, uh, a scratch on the wall, if it gets dented or anything like that. Uh, you can simply fill up the, the actual dent and then use a, a paintbrush to stip all the edges and when it dries back you really will not see the join so it's a very very easy material to use and there you go so if, again if you look over it and you see areas that are not quite perfect if you go over them straight away you'll be able to get it perfect so clean your trowel off and then just go back to that area And there we go, it's as easy as that.